hey guys and welcome to a new vlog today is monday and i've got quite a busy day today and i've got quite a busy week actually so i thought i would just vlog and like take you through my week i look like an egg right now because i've got my hair in a bun to do like some heatless uh curls um so yeah ignore that and sorry that it's a little bit dark in here but i tried to like vent to you really quickly because i'm actually really freaked out i didn't sleep last night like at all because i am honestly so freaked out by the coronavirus i'm not even joking like i know i sound really over dramatic and like i'm being a big crybaby but i'm actually really scared about it because we got our first confirmed case in wolverhampton yesterday um and it was somebody at new cross hospital and my mom was there at the same time that they were there and my nan was there at the same time with that they were there um and i'm just really freaked out and like I don't know i feel like at the start when it first all started blowing up i was like god people are so dramatic like it's not even that bad um and now i'm actually freaked out like my friend went to the like shop the other day and she said like the shelves were just like clean like wiped like they were like gone there was nothing left i think you like get off my dog's like trying to smother me uh but yeah she said that the shelves were just like pretty much empty and everyone was walking around with like things over their face and my mom said when she was at the hospital, everyone was sat there with like hoodies like over their mouth or like uh, they had like cardigans over their mouth to like not bring things in. And I'm not even kidding you, like I'm genuinely freaked out. Um, I'm not a hypochondriac and I've never been like freaked out by things like this. But this is actually petrifying to me. Like the numbers are doubling mm. every single day. Oh. The numbers are doubling every single day, like literally every single day the numbers go up again um and now somebody in wolverhampton has it and we don't know where they live or like what shops they've been to or like if they've got kids and if their kids have been going to school with it like you honestly don't know and i'm just waiting to hear the news about like more people in wolverhampton having it um so i'm really freaked out and i'm not like i'm not being over dramatic i'm not trying to scare people but i'm just really scared um I just don't I just don't like it yeah I'm just really freaked out so I'm gonna make my own hand sanitizer because you can't buy hand sanitizer from anywhere now it's completely gone like literally completely gone it's just gone you just can't buy it my friend like drove to like seven different shops the other day to try and find hand sanitizer and she managed to get two bottles at a really expensive price um so all the hand sanitizer is gone all the soap is gone off the shelves I'm really freaked out so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to go to well, i've got a meeting in birmingham that i really don't want to go to because of everything going on um i'm gonna go to birmingham have my meeting and then i'm going to come home and do a quick little shop like a little food shop just to get some like supplies in um i know that sounds really drastic but like i don't care if it sounds drastic because i'm actually freaked out and everybody else is emptying the shops i'm not gonna panic buy i'm just gonna stock up on a few little things like peanut butter bread some like apples and potatoes and stuff like that and maybe like beans things that like don't really like that you can like eat in like multiple ways and like you know kind of like essentials and like some toilet paper and stuff like that uh because according to my friend she said you can tell that there's something going on when you go into a shop not only because everybody's walking around with something over their mouth but also because um because the shelves are like being emptied and it's like not normal i can't find any more information about how many people in wolverhampton have it but i'm sure in like a couple of days we'll hear that like 20 people in Wolverhampton have got it or something because if they've got it then they've passed it on to their families and their kids might have passed it on and they might have worked in the office and I'm honestly actually scared like I'm not even I'm actually scared so I'm going to show you how to make some hand sanitizer if you're struggling to um find any like me I'm also going to deep clean my house just to make myself feel better I know there's no coronavirus in my house but just to make me feel better inside I'm going to deep clean my house um so yeah because I'm actually I'm like laughing but I'm really freaked out. I've ordered medical masks and everything because I'm so freaked out. And the next time I go to Birmingham, you can bet your ass I'm wearing a medical mask. I might even wear it around Wolverhampton with what's going on. Um, I don't care if I look stupid because I'm freaked out. Hello? Hello? I didn't have any gloves in home bargains. I think everybody's bought them. Oh, you fucking Yeah, they're all gone. 
half the shelves are empty. Really? Yeah, all the cleaning products are pretty much gone. There's no loo roll. Loo roll's the thing that everyone's buying. Why is everyone buying loo roll? I don't know, mum got me a load, didn't she? I know that's because she's seen that people have been fighting about it though. Yeah. I don't understand why people are buying loo roll, it doesn't make any sense. You don't oh, start yeah. shitting when you've got coronavirus. No. But yeah, there's no loo roll and there's no gloves. She can leave no gloves, no time. No time, no time, no time, no time. Okay. What time are you working till? I'm just waiting for mum to pick me up, why? Oh, okay. Why, Nugget? I said, what did I get? I was drinking. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was going to come over for dinner. Fuck off. What's that supposed to mean? It's strange now. Fuck you then. Bastard. I'll stay home and clean. That's what I'm going to do, to be honest. Alright, Bob. Say ugly. Say you that, Bob. I just went into um thanks. I just went into home bargains to get some cleaning stuff. And it is literally like all the shelves are pretty much empty. Like there's no loo roll, most of the cleaning products are gone. I've never seen anything like this. And it's actually really sorry, it's actually really scary. Um, like pretty much everything's gone. Um which is really freaking me out, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna go home, make myself some hand sanitizer, and then I'm gonna do a deep clean all night. I'm gonna spend the night cleaning the house, just because it'll make me feel better. The person that had coronavirus in Wolverhampton has now passed away, and there are more cases, obviously, because that the person that had it has given it to loads of people. Um, and there are cases in Dudley, so there are like multiple cases in Wolverhampton, someone in Wolverhampton has died from it, um, and there are like loads of cases in Dudley as well, with people that have got it, so it's growing rapidly, I'm really freaked out to be honest. I'm home now, um, I'm just about to make myself some hand sanitizer, and I thought I might as well show you how I'm going to do it. So I got these little like squeezy tubes to like put them in. Um, can't open it. Have I got another bag? There you go. Okay, so I got these squeezy tube things to put the sanitizer in. And I kid you not, in Home Bargains, the shelves were just absolutely empty. Like completely, like they were just, there was nothing there. Like you can, like, it's just mad. It's just actually mad like what's happening it's crazy i didn't expect it to be like that but like all the nappies were gone it looked like a zombie film <laughs> all the nappies were gone um all the toilet paper was gone like that like it was just like bare so <laughs> there was obviously no hand sanitizer so i'm gonna make it myself so i'm gonna be using aloe vera just normal aloe vera and just scooping it into a little thingy and aloe vera is really cheap anyway, like you can buy a huge bottle of aloe vera for like pennies. Um, so I'm just scooping the aloe vera in. I'm gonna make two bottles of um, hand sanitizer because I'm going to leave one in the car because I'm gonna leave one in my car and one in my most worn coat. So that hopefully I will always have one on me. Um, and I'm going to use Dettol in one and Zaflora in the other. I'm like emptying my aloe vera pot right now to fill this up. There you go. And this is like completely safe. So if sanitizer is like out where you are, it probably is because everyone I know can't get any. Um, so if hand sanitizer is out where you are, just head to Home Bargains and do this um, because it's like mega cheap and really easy to do. Like a bottle of aloe vera in Home Bargains is 2 
and these little travel bottles are 79p each I'm pretty sure. okay so I just poured a little bit of Dettol in there give it a good shake and then I'm going to put some on my hand okay that is like the perfect consistency it's not too um you can smell that it's clean as well it's not too wet it's not too thick it's just right um so that is how you make homemade hand sanitizer um stay clean guys i'm gonna make my zaflora one now i'm gonna use like half a capful and this is the orange scented one there you go um aloe vera and top that up because that one's very liquidy because there's not much aloe vera in there um so i've got two hand sanitizers now that i can take with me and yeah it's a lot cheaper than um because that's quite a big bottle it's a lot cheaper than what people are selling it for on like ebay and stuff now people are selling hand sanitizer for like 15 pound a bottle like literally a bottle that big is on ebay for like 15 pound um so it's just madness um but yeah i feel a lot better knowing that i've got those now i'm a lot less freaked out um but yeah i'm gonna start cleaning i'll show you what i got actually okay so this is what i got from home bargains i didn't get loads just got a little bit so i got the new duck action fresh action gel in tropical sunshine exciting i have got the morning fresh uh dishwashing liquid some the pink stuff miracle multi-purpose cleaner it says it's streak free sparkling clean tough on grease and grime i've got this which is the astonish oxy active plus fabric stain remover non-bio swear by that stuff it's so good i got some screen wash because i really need some um my car's got none in and I was driving the other day and it got really dusty and I couldn't see. I grabbed a new uh, makeup sponge because I don't want to go into town. Um, and I don't, I've never used one of these before from Home Bargains. It's from Olivia Hale. Let's just see how it like swells up because I'm ruining my other one by accident because I've been using powder on it. I didn't even realise that it would like, it's made it all like crusty and like flaky and stuff. So I'm just going to wash that one and see if it sounds any good this seems quite good actually that's swollen up quite nicely um so i'm going to use this one for powder and then give my other one a good wash and hopefully it goes back to normal um i also got these which are like fake minkies um i've got a real minky as well but i just thought i'd get some more because the real minky is like really expensive now that miss hinch talks about it so these are like three for one pound fifty there's like soft sponge on one side and scratchy on the other um and then i got this one which me and the checkout lady were talking about and this is the spring blossom and mandarin 1001 um and then i got these one of them i'm going to keep in my bag and they're just antibacterial surface wipes um it sells it kill it says it kills e coli mrsa flu viruses salmonella and listeria um so i'm trying to keep one of those in my handbag i actually you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to use the pouch that my little hand things came in and saves taking a bag that big with me. I'm going to take some out of there, like this many, and I'm going to pop them in my travel kit because that is a lot smaller than that and that will just neatly, actually I can even put my hand sanitizer in there as well, couldn't I? There we go, my little germaphobe bag so i've got my little hand sanitizer in there and my little wipes i'm gonna put that in my handbag and i'm gonna use my other bag to put my zaflora one in once i filled that up with aloe um so that's everything i got and i also got another reusable bag because i'm constantly forgetting my bags but i'm gonna start cleaning now because my kitchen is it's not dirty but it's messy um so i'm gonna get going on that um and yeah i'll talk to you in a little bit you can watch me Oh, 
good morning. Um, today is the next day. I'm taking my mom to the hospital. I've got my masks because people in Wolverhampton hospital have coronavirus. Um, so we're going to hospital today. My mom actually got her appointment time wrong, so I look like this. I've literally just woken up. I've literally just got out of bed like 10 minutes ago. Literally, I look like this because my mom thought her appointment was in an hour's time and not right now. So I'm just gonna try and put a little bit of concealer on to hide my sins. Um, because I've literally just got out of bed like two seconds ago. Um, so that's fun. Um, yeah, but I'm really kind of freaked out to be fair because people in Wolverhampton have coronavirus like in the hospital have coronavirus and um they've set up like a testing station in Wolverhampton because there are so many people in Wolverhampton getting it um I mean I, I know it's nowhere near as bad as London but Wolverhampton's quite a densely um populated place like it's not that big of a place and lots of people have it here so I'm kind of freaked out and they're telling everybody to not come to the hospital like unless you like have to but my mom has broken her foot so she kind of doesn't have a choice on whether to go or not so that sucks um but yeah i'm just really paranoid about the whole situation um look at me trying to put a little bit of makeup on before i go out I like splash water on my face and thought yeah that'll do but now that I've got in the car my face just looks awful but yeah we're going to the hospital but I've said to my mom I think it's best if we wear the masks with everything going on um because she even said like the last time she was there everyone was sat with like their hands over their um mouth or like a scarf around their face um because everyone's just like completely freaked out by it. I mean, rightly so, because it's growing so fast every single day. It's just like mad. It's just, I don't know. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Doing my makeup again while I wait for mom to come down the drive because it takes her like 10 minutes. She's got a broken leg, foot. I keep saying she's got a broken leg. She doesn't have a broken leg. If I say this in, that, in this video, she doesn't have a broken leg. <sighs> Come on, we're late. I am, we're going. I'm just driving at the same time. Just leave that there so I can like reach in as we go. That's terrible. Why is it terrible? Doing your mic or you try. Why do you all the time? That's why women are better drivers than men. I think the factory clinic's bar is the old. Ah. Old A and A. She said it's right by outpatients. Well, outpatients is where you dropped me last time for my gastro appointment. You know. So, if you can't find it, I'll ask them in outpatients. I'm sure she said go in A and A and it's in there. Just leaving the hospital now. <laughs> can't be too careful. Oh, it's okay. Is that another damage spot? Hang on. 250. Can you believe I have? Put it in. Mm-hmm. We're right. just leaving hospital now, walking back to the car. It was rammed in there. Merge, please. Tell you an outfit of the day. Hey guys! <laughs> so today I'm wearing my um phenomenal woman scarf, top from New Look, a leather jacket from River Island, I think. Um, a corona mask, jeans, boots, that's it. My favourite accessory of 2020 is the corona mask. Not very pretty though, is it? You can get like designer ones. <laughs> I'm gonna get one for the dog as well. Oh god. We have one big snipe but Yeah. Hey guys, so it is much later in the day now. I've taken all my makeup off because my face just felt sticky and as you saw I got ready in the car. Um because I was running late, so I just wanted to take it all off and I feel a lot better for it now. But I'm just about to head out um, because I'm just gonna go to a friend's house and get some advice on something um, because I honestly don't know if I've done it right. And also, 
had a massive fine the other day because I didn't file my taxes correctly. Uh, because you have like self-employed taxes and then like company taxes and stuff. And I did my self-employed taxes wrong. Um, and I didn't realize because I usually use an accountant to do my taxes for me. I never do them. Actually, I'm going to carry my laptop. I never do my taxes on my own. I usually have an accountant do them for me. But some crap went down like a few months ago with my accountant and it meant that I've not been able to find a new one um because I feel like accountants are kind of the people that you really need to trust and like have like know someone that uses them before you can go with them um at least in my opinion so yeah I'm gonna go to my friend's house get a little bit of help with my taxes because I'm refiling them um and like I need to do it ASAP because you get fined like 10 pound a day for every day that you like don't resubmit your taxes so I'm gonna go do that and yeah, I'll chat to you probably tomorrow because I'm just gonna go there, do some tax stuff and then come back and go to bed. It's not gonna be very interesting. Good morning. Oh, so heavy. Oh my God. Good morning. So I'm looking like an egg again because I pretty much just woke up and went food shopping. Um, and like I didn't take my hair down or anything. I just walked around with my sunglasses on because that is what I do when I look rough. I just put sunglasses on and ignore how I look. So I went to do a little food shop again because I feel like it's important to just do your shopping little and often when it's a situation like this because I don't want to be overbuying, but I want to be making sure that I'm buying enough so that it's like my cupboards are full. I can't get over how I look right now, I'm really sorry. Um, maybe I should take my hair down, will that help the situation? Cool, okay. So, I feel like it's important to do food shopping lit and often at the minute so that you make sure that you're not like unnecessarily stocking up, you know what I mean, and taking things away from other people that might need it. So, I just got a little bit. I got some bread because, essential in life. I don't know how people don't eat bread. Um, I got some turkey bacon because I finally found it. So I'm really excited to try this. I thought I got two packets, but maybe not. Okay, turkey bacon. Really excited to try this. Hope it's nice. Oh, that's good. It's made out of recyclable um, packaging. I got some blueberries for the antioxidants and the immune system. I got some bananas to pop in my smoothies. I got some um, laundry fabric softener because I've just run out avocado because i've just ran out some more peanut butter because i swear i get through peanut butter like nobody's business i've never known anything like it i got this honey which i don't really like getting um because i feel like it's not actual honey i don't know why i feel like that but where are the ingredients there's no ingredients maybe it is just honey I don't know. Yeah, there are literally no ingredients listed. Okay, maybe it is. Okay, maybe I'm being overdramatic then. Got some honey, giant squeezy bottle. Um, then I got some more coffee, classic rich roast. They never have the like strong coffee. Like I really like the Nescafe original coffee because it's really strong and like kind of bit not not bitter. But if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Like, I feel like a lot of coffee now is really watered down so that people can handle it. And it's more like a creamy type thing and like more sweet and creamy. And I like the real like kind of bitter coffee. I really like that. When I was in Italy, the coffee was amazing. I also got this. Um, and this is some oat milk. Um, unsweetened oat milk. And I've never seen um, a like vegan. Is it vegan? I've never seen like a non-milk milk in Aldi before, so I thought I'd grab it. Um, I got two honey yogurts because they these things, I swear, if you've not tried these before, it's the Brooklyn Greek style honey yogurt. These things taste like a dessert. Like you feel like you're eating like ice cream or something like gorgeous and it's literally just yogurt, so it's not even that bad for you. Um, so I got one for me and one for my friend because they're always like, no, but they're never there because everybody must know. Um, and then I got some orange juice, smooth orange juice, because I'm a baby. Um, and then I got some biscuits and chocolate because 
I never buy biscuits and chocolate because um, I try to be on the healthier side. If you see my food shop, it's usually very healthy. Um, but I decided to get some uh, dark chocolate digestives because they taste nicer in coffee than the milk chocolate ones. And I also got these caramelized, they're basically Biscoff biscuits. And then this, which is my favorite ever chocolate bar, it's the salted pretzel chocolate bar, which is literally delicious. And then I got some jam, uh, just classic strawberry conserve. I can't open it, I hate when this happens. Oh, come on. <sighs> got it, <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks good. Smells really good too. I think I'm gonna have, oh, that smells oh, childhood. Mm, delicious. I think I'm gonna have jam on toast for breakfast because that just has tipped me over the edge. Um, is anybody else? Well, I'm not anymore, but as a kid, I feel like it's more of a British thing. As a kid, did you have jam on toast for breakfast like literally every day? Because when I was living with my nan, that is all we ate, like jam on toast or like jam sandwiches. That is literally all we ate. Um, or like porridge with jam in. Like, look at my cat. You're not allowed on the side. Naughty. Um, and then I got some more Coffee Mate. This stuff is really good. I used to use the original Coffee Mate because I couldn't find a substitute for it. Um, and it's like so good. It actually is so good. Um, because the actual Coffee Mate is like four or five pounds for a jar this big. And I think this is like one pound thirty or something. So that's just mad. I got some grapes. Uh, mixed seedless grapes. I love grapes. They're probably my favourite fruit. I used to be a big strawberry fan, but I feel like they're not the same anymore. Like as a kid, the strawberries were really like sweet. And now I don't know. I got some kiwis. Some apples. These are the best apples. Pink lady apples. Best. And then some more yogurt. So that is all I got. And you might be thinking, why didn't you get like dinner stuff? And honestly, I've got loads of potatoes, loads of rice. I've got a lot of chicken in the freezer. So I'm like good to go on that front. And I didn't want to buy things when I don't need it, especially with what's going on. Um, I've got like probably five bags of rice in my cupboard. I haven't panic bought them. I've had them in there for ages. So I've got like five bags of rice, loads and loads of pasta. Like I've got like this full of pasta. I've got another one of these full of pasta. I've got loads of pasta and like sauces and stuff like that. So I'm good with that. But also I have HelloFresh delivered. So like I, I don't need it. And HelloFresh is like a dinner service. Like they deliver like dinner recipes for you. So that does mean like for the whole week. Um, but yeah that is everything i bought i'm gonna pop this away now and i think i'm actually gonna end the vlog here because i feel like it's gonna get a little bit too long if i carry on going on but i really hope you enjoyed i really hope you guys are okay um and i also wanted to address the fact why i'm so paranoid because i've seen a lot of people on twitter and stuff like that saying like people are spreading panic and it's so unnecessary i'm not trying to spread panic but i feel like it is important that people feel like they can talk about things um, and educate each other's like even down to the hand sanitizer a friend of mine suggested that I showed you guys how to make hand sanitizer because it's not being sold anywhere and I thought you know what, that's actually a really good idea um so I decided to include it but also the reason I am so panicked is because um I'm not 100% sure if I fall under the um vulnerable tag because I've got lots of health problems that I haven't been to the doctors about um I have a problem with like sugars and stuff like that like if I don't eat enough sugars and my sugars get too low I feel really ill and have like a really weird like I can't explain it but if my sugars drop I feel really unwell like really unwell um so I know there's something going on there I've got like my heart problems I've got asthma there are multiple things that I am very nervous about and also my mom is on immune suppressants because if you didn't know my mom has an invisible illness she has Crohn's disease which makes her really really vulnerable to things like this like if you're ill we try to avoid going to my mom's house because she her body just can't handle it so if my mom did get something like the coronavirus it would be really scary and life-threatening to her so that is why I'm taking all these extra precautions because obviously I see my mom every day I pick the kids up from school and if I have anything on me or I'm dirty or I have it 
and I've caught it from being <clears throat> God knows where, she's gonna get it. And obviously that's the last thing on earth that I want. Um, so for the people like that might be watching this thinking, why is she being so dramatic? Um, that's why my na my mom is really vulnerable. And also my granddad's just had a, a brain tumor removed. So his immune system, his health is not where it should be right now. He had a brain tumor removed in December, late December. Um, and he's not back to normal yet. He's still, I mean, they said the recovery can take like years, like full recovery. Um, but his immune system is not where it was before the operation. So everyone's just being very cautious. And yeah, I just feel like, I feel like there's a lot of misinformation in the media. The like, um, like the media, like Sky and BBC and stuff like that. I feel like they show you what they want to show you and they never show you the bigger picture. So I feel like if you do want to actually do research into the coronavirus and do it on your own um and try and get your own kind of idea about what's going on because i feel like big media companies aren't really telling you the truth like i've seen videos on twitter that people have posted from italy with people driving around in vans with megaphones telling people to stay indoors i have quite a few italian friends my mom's next door neighbor is italian and we know all of her family and have them on facebook and all she's posting on facebook right now is please pray for my family they can't get out of the house they're elderly blah 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 and it's scary and i feel like the media isn't actually telling us what's going on and every other country is saying that england isn't dealing with it very well italy carried on as usual and then it went boom and that is exactly what we're doing england isn't really doing anything and should have voted for um Jeremy that's what I'm gonna say but that is why I'm in a bit of a panic so I just wanted to address that I'm trying not to be over dramatic but I did just want to let people know that it is okay to be scared right now and explain why I'm being cautious myself so yeah I just want to say thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy please be sure to give it a thumbs up um let me know how you're feeling in the comments because I feel like it's I feel like it's important for people who are talking right now because if you if you're really stressed inside and you're bottling it up it's not going to do you any good um so if you do want to leave a comment let me know how are you feeling about it are you self-isolating what country do you live in how badly is your country affected all that stuff i'm happy to have a chat with you about it um so yeah I, I do hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're all staying safe and healthy um and doing everything you can to look after yourself and those around you because like i said i might not get it but i could easily pass it on to my mom who could potentially die from it and that is why people need to be so careful because just because you might be fine if you get it and it might just be like the flu for you you don't know who you're going to pass that on to um so that is why it's important to be as clean and careful and cautious as possible right now because we don't want the vulnerable people getting sick um so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you're looking after yourself and that you're doing okay and i'll see you soon with a new video bye